Hello to all viewers. I'm Mama Aima bin Effendi. Today I would like to talk about an IE68 bus system power analysis. So our group members consists of five person, and I am Aiman, as you know. So the introduction of this project is about power flow analysis, which is a study of uh, electric power in an interconnected system. As you know. So power flow is a notation of one line diagram which consists of per unit system and you know that one line diagram consists of um, a notation of generator, load and also line transmission. As you can see from the slides, uh, it shows that an example of a one line diagram of power flow studies. So our problem statement is all about um, 68 bus system which is a fault based on balance and unbalanced fault so our main problem is we find out the, da the data of 68 bus system and we convert it into uh, coding in MATLAB software to identify the stable, marginally stable, marginally unstable and unstable data so in order to do that we have some methods and our method is to identify the problem statement, which is um, the data of 68 bus system. And we get the data and we convert it into a coding process. We run the coding and if it's an error, we try to redesign the coding. And we try to run the coding again. And if we get the data parameter, we find out which is the data is balanced or no, unbalanced. And we conclude the data we get so for the next okay assalamualaikum my name is Muhammad Hazim so for the task one we need to demonstrate uh, the system in all system analysis book by Saadat so we need to do the example 7 so this is our heading um, you can see this bus data, line data, and gen data. So this is uh, the line, line from 4 to 1, 5 to 1, from 6 to 1, and so on. So uh, we just run the coding. So this is uh, in the command. So we we entered the bus number that that pop so in the book say that uh, the line six and, and from six to from six five line so we set the clearing time is 0 0.4 and 1.5 for the uh, EF so we can see the the graph press angle uh, pop clear at 0 0.4 second so this graph uh, is stable because the, the swing uh, curve is together so next we change the TC to 0 0.5 and also the TF 1.5 so this graph, you can see the face angle different, pop clear at uh, 0.5 second. Uh, the graph shows that uh, it's unstable because the swing curve is increased on uh, no limit. Okay, next. Um, we change the TC to 0.05 also the TF 1.5 okay we can see the, the, the graph 
face angle. Um, so this graph uh, means that is uh, critically stable. Okay, that's those. That's all for the task. Thank you. For project is a um, 68 pass system. Data. Okay, I will show you how to get the graph for stable, materially stable, materially unstable, and unstable. Okay, like I can show to you. Uh, it is a uh, bus data for our project, 68 bus, and it is for line data. As you can see. Okay, now I will run it. Now I will show you how to get the graph from the common. Okay, now I will enter the bus that uh, I will be choosing. Okay. Okay. Now I will insert the for this team, I choose one point two. Okay, F, choose two point two. Okay. Uh, this graph show show for stable. Okay, this graph three. Graph two, one. Graph one is for roto angle. And graph two for roto angle different from CY, and the graph three for roto speed. Now I will show you how to get the unstable graph. I choose one point six. Graph show for unstable. Okay, like you can see, this into one. This for figure two, and this for the figure three. Okay, for the figure two, like you can see, the swing curve uh, is out from the zero line. Now I will show you how to get the ordinary stable. Okay. I choose uh, one point four second and two point four. Two point four, okay. Okay. This graph uh, show for ordinary stable. You can see this are uh, this for figure one. It is uh, for the figure two, and it's for the figure three. Okay. And the last one, I will show you how to get the money unstable. Okay, I choose one point five second. 2.4 and we get the minimally unstable like you can see uh, for auto angle for auto angle uh, difference auto angle different with COO, COI and the last one auto speed okay Next, uh, I will pass to my friend uh, to uh, explain uh, more detail about our graph that uh, I wish I that I already show you. Okay, thank you. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. And and good morning. My name is Muhammad Ibrahim bin Jasman. I would like to present of our project uh, and with the 16-8 bus data and 
now we see the graph uh, from the stable condition of our project uh, the rotor angle we got from the this project with a cleared time with uh, 1.3 second and the F is 2 second uh, in this condition the meshing rotor angle swing curve is swing together and then with the second graph is show the rotor angle with different C COI in stable condition and the time is same then we see the stable condition of auto speed of our project with a time also with 1.3 second and 2 second now we see the uh, the condition of our project with, uh, with our graph is marginally stable of auto angle and uh, the the value we uh, give is 1.4 sec uh, second and 2 second and then we see the auto uh, the graph of auto angle with coi with an uh, input of time is 1.4 second and 2 second and and then we see the rotor speed of our project with uh, input time is same previous like previous and then uh, next we see the uh, the output result of marginally unstable condition with rotor angles uh, of rotor angle and the fork level at the 1.5 second to 2 second and then uh, I will show to you the uh, graph of our project with auto anchor with COI and the time that we use is so 1.5 second and 2 second and this graph show the auto speed with COI at the marginally unstable condition and then we see the graph of unstable condition of our project with auto angle output and the time and input time of this graph is 1.6 second and 2 second uh, the, the assumption of uh, this graph is Swing curve angle increase without limit. And next we see the rotor angle with COI with uh, input uh, input time the same with previous slide. And then we see the last one of slide today of in, in unstable condition of auto speed the time is also with 1.6 second and the F is to set all for uh, my my presentation today uh, to okay as a conclusion we have learned a lot about the MATLAB programming just by doing the project event. so the main point that we have right now is the analysis of the MATLAB so the fundamental capacity in MATLAB towards the arrangement of building condition utilize and accomplish the outcome so we are likewise have the capacity to investigate and show the usage of MATLAB other than that we can identify the power system fault based on balance and unbalanced fault technique we additionally become acquainted with on the best way to express the power flow analysis. Finally, we can clarify the appropriate security plans to guarantee control framework convenience and supportability for given contextual analysis. Thank you.